This is the first markets conference for the FCA. It's something the FSA did for around six years. Uh, we think it's an important continuation of a tradition of talking directly to the industry. The big issue for us, frankly, is that five years after the crisis, we've had a huge amount of focus on um, some of the prudential causes, on leverage, on ratios, on capital. But actually, there is another angle to this crisis, which is how people behave, how they treat each other, the conduct, the ethics in the market. And that's something very much that we're turning our attention to and that we're leading. So as the FCA, as the UK authority, we're very much taking a lead globally on this, working with the FSB, with IOSCO, to, to make sure that conduct is very much at the heart of how people conduct their business, whether for for retail investors or wholesale investors, it's about the integrity of the market as a whole. Well, events like today are a great opportunity for us to set out our stall in terms of what we're doing in, in markets and how that fits in with the context of the rest of the organisation, but also a good opportunity for us to hear from stakeholders as to what's on their minds so that we can take that back to the office and factor that into our policy making and our approach to supervision. We're not bringing a revolution to the way that we regulate markets compared with the FSA, but our approach definitely is evolving. And that's because markets continue to be dynamic and are evolving. That's partly because there's a whole new policy landscape that's coming out of Europe and internationally, which everybody needs to adapt to. And it's also because, frankly, some of the outcomes that we're seeing in the marketplace are below where we want them to be. Obviously, people see market integrity uh, as being something that's core to what we're doing in markets and the work we're doing on market abuse and making sure that the price formation mechanisms and market infrastructure are resilient will continue to be central to what we're doing. But we also have a strong contribution to make on consumer protection in making sure that detriment in the wholesale markets doesn't flow down and damage retail consumers and that through our client asset work, money and assets that people place in trust with investment firms are appropriately protected. And then finally, with our competition objective, we're um, wanting to make sure that market structures and the way that markets work uh, are bringing benefits to end consumers. We've always had a very open uh, and vibrant marketplace in the UK with low barriers to entry, but our competition objective now, I think, gives us um, the mandate to look at what happens to market structures once firms have entered the marketplace.